The team was undefeated going into the game. How did the team prepare for such a big game? Well, you know, being that we were undefeated, uh, obviously we were doing some things right all year. So we we we, we approached the game as uh, as we did all year long. We we, we prepared hard, and, and the thing that we did we didn't we didn't take anybody lightly. We took it one game at a time. But uh, we had had success, so you know why change it? We we prepared like we did normally uh, throughout the rest of the year, you know, because we had we had had success doing that. But we, you know, as we did, we took one one ticket one game at a time, and then we we prepared hard for each opponent, regardless of who it was. So we, you know, we had had success, so we 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 just you know stayed with that same formula. What were your thoughts going into the national championship game? Well, I was excited. I was excited. Uh, we, you know, we were on a national stage, and and uh, this is a once in a lifetime thing. You don't ever know if you're going to get a chance to get back to this situation. So I was real excited about it, and I just hope that we were, you know, we were we were prepared to represent to represent ourselves properly. Not only ourselves, but represent the conference, the SEC, and just just Southern football. I think that you know we were going up against a, a national powerhouse in Notre Dame. Who had all the tradition and all the all the history? So it was it was a big challenge for us. But uh, uh, I was just looking forward to see how we how we compared to the big boys. You're backed up in your own end zone, and it's the last drive. Did you expect the last play to work? Yeah, I mean, I think that you know that's the kind of team you gotta have. You have you gotta have confidence in the fact that, that you can get it done when you need it need it need to get it done. And, you know, those are times when you find out what your what your team is really made of. But yeah, uh, there has to be a great de- a degree of confidence there that, that you can get the job done. What did Coach Vince Dooley say to you after the game? Well. Uh, not only me, but not, well, he was glad. He was happy. He was glad. He was ecstatic. I mean, you know, but not only to me, as a team, you know, it just, it just teaches some lessons. You know, those, those are, those, those are life lessons are involved in, in sports. The fact that, that even when you're down in life, even when things don't seem to be going your way, even when things seem to be out of reach, you know, you keep playing, you keep pushing, you keep, you keep push, putting your best foot forward. And, and those are the type of lessons that, that he tried to teach us that regardless of what situation that you're in, and, and it could get discouraging at times, but keep your head up and keep fighting and, and keep giving your best effort. And, 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 and in most cases, things will work out. Oh. So what did you think once you heard Larry Munson's call on the radio? I was ecstatic. I think that uh, I think that you know uh, the whole state of Georgia was excited. I think uh, you know nobody can do it like Larry does it. And I think he just he just he just put it in perspective. It was a fact that you know we were down. Uh, uh, you know uh, we had to make something happen. He, he even made the statement. Uh, you know you gave up. I did too. And it was a miracle. It was a miracle. It was something that that. Uh, that, uh, uh, that that rarely happens, you know, especially in that in that series. But like I said, we we you know we hung in there, and 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 after I heard that call, it was just I guess it just put it all in perspective. Well, that's all I have. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.